Wolverine. A brand new trailer for the upcoming Will Ferrell Mark Wahlberg comedy Daddy's Home has just hit the web. Daddy's Home follows a mild-mannered radio executive, Ferrell, who strives to become the best stepdad to his wife's two children, but complications ensue when their freewheeling and freeloading real father, Wahlberg, arrives, forcing him to compete for the affection of the kids. Daddy's Home hits theaters on Christmas Day. Christian, what do you think of the new trailer? The trailer itself I liked. There were a couple of laughs. I'm, I'm worried that, yeah, I'm always worried now with comedies that they're putting the best moments in there. You yeah. already saw three big, there's the motorcycle fall, there's the, you know, then the, the skating up into the, the, when he gets electrocuted, and then the punch in the face for three moments. And oh yeah, and then when he throws the ball into the cheerleader. Like all that stuff was really funny. I'm just worried that, oh, they just ruined all their good gags. Like did they have to do that? But I, li I didn't love the other guys, but I loved their chemistry together. I want, and, I, and now they're kind of on the opposite ends a bit more than they were in that movie so i i want to see it i think it could be a lot of fun and and there's that line when he sits down and he's telling the story about the knights and then will ferrell comes in and and tells about the step night it's i think it, it has a possibility to be hysterical but it also could be an eh Schnepp? yeah for, I, I laughed out loud when that basketball scene where he throws yeah. the oh. basketball yeah. that you know so i mean the the trailer is great I'm completely buying the trailer. I, don't, we're not, I know we're not buy and sell right now, but I'm buying the trailer. I want to see this movie. I, you're right. I hope they didn't put all of the funny moments in and then, you know, oh, God, it's like this trailer is full of spoilers. Like, you know, hey, I don't even have to worry about spoiling the movie for you. It's all in the trailer. I think there's a bunch more jokes that are going to be in that film, though. It feels like it's joke filled. Like right so, from yeah. the right from him coming down the escalator and the other the old man who's like, he is your better half or whatever he, is, he says he is, he is your, your better, better in every way. In every way. <laughs> that made me laugh. So yeah, it's it's definitely it has all the elements there to be a really funny film. Yeah, I you know, sometimes we see trailers and I don't like it. So you know what? I think this movie is gonna be awesome, but I didn't like the trailer. But you know, because the trailer didn't work, but I do believe the movie's gonna be awesome. I'm totally the opposite on this. I'm not expecting this to be a very good movie, to be honest. But I've liked the trailer so far, and this second one is no uh, is no exception to that. Like that thing when he's coming off the roof on the skateboard and shooting up, and he mm -hmm. hits the wire. I mean, the basketball in the face, the all that kind of stuff. I gotta admit, the the trailer had me giggling and laughing, but there's something about it that, and I'm a Will Ferrell fan, I'm a Mark Wahlberg fan. But there's something about this movie to me that has me very pessimistic about it. I don't know why. Hopefully, I'll see. And you know what's interesting? I don't think it has a rating yet. Not yet. So no. right, as of right now, I honestly don't know if this is a PG-13 film or if this is an R-rated comedy. I, I don't know. It's got little kids in it, so right. I'm assuming. Oh, by the way, how cute is that little girl? She goes, yeah. it's a zombie! Ah! Oh, she's adorable. Um, if, if it comes out and they say it's an R-rated film, I might be a little bit more interested in it. But but I'm a little bit pessimistic. Feels about PG thirteen. But me. I like the trailers. It could be. But I also, you know PG what I you know what right. I hope they also do. I hope they don't just rely on those big gags like the motorcycle and the electrocution. I hope that they rely on some of the subtle humor too, because the line when Mark Wahlberg is by the motorcycle is like, "We have to uh, take it into that." We have to prepare for that yeah. possibility, honey. That's, and then and then the line was like, "Honey, don't jump off the roof." And, he goes, and, and then, that's good advice. <laughs> like <laughs> things like that. I li I like the small like just the humor and the lines with the delivery of those great comedians. Hopefully that can happen. I think the real right. king had the big, long, shiny yeah, sword. Yeah, that's going to be in there as far as like the competitiveness. I think I would like to see them ratchet that up. Yeah. Like, we saw like the condensed version, but like when they're putting the kids to sleep, and then Mark does one thing, uh -huh. and then he does the other thing awkward, like scratches the back, and like right. just weird stuff where it's like they don't want that. You don't, you know, he's not a good dad yet. So maybe you know the moral will they'll both be good dads or yeah. something. You know. Oh yeah, at the end they'll yeah. be friends yeah, and be do buddies. what's best for the kids. Right. Of course they're going to do that. That's the way it should go too. <laughs>